No, sir. Have a good day. And it's okay to outgrow people. You're gonna have two is greater than or equal to K. And try this though. Growth makes some people uncomfortable, and that's the reality. It's the time live. Money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fifty. That's all I'm here. Heard to know's lies hell, and you can't sleep thinking that he lies still. So you cry still. Tears all in a pillowcase. Big girls all get a little taste out. Pushing me away so I give a space out. Dealing with a heart that I didn't break. I'll be there for you. I would care for you. I keep thinking you just don't know. Trying to run from that. Say you're done with that. On your face, girl, it just don't show. When you're ready, just say you're ready. So this is the outfit if y'all saw the shopping vlog. I had this tie neater at first, but yeah. Only thing about linen type of material, it gets looser and looser. I got this at an eight. I wish I would've got a six. So when I link it, this is what an eight looks like on me. Um, if you wanna get the six, because as you wear it, it's like getting more and more loose, which for the events and my activities for today, it was uh, pretty decent. Um, I'm probably gonna change for where I'm going a little bit later. I probably won't wear this. I like how the buttons I tucked on the inside, and then you got pockets and all of that. I feel like I look like a cute, somebody's work uniform reminds me of this, and this is giving like the cute, playful version of that, if it makes sense. Like I could carry like a little two box. It's giving like, yeah. This is how my hair turned out though. The little slick puff that I did. These packages that I haven't opened from Amazon yet. Oh, this is the phone tripod mount with the cold shoe. I will put this phone mount in the spot where the tripod is. You know when you're trying to do your TikToks, like earlier when I was washing my hair? Um, that video may or may not be, I don't know the order. But basically, if I wanted to do TikTok and YouTube at the same time, I will be able to fix this right on the top. So if I wanna like shoot something where I'm using my phone at the same time, I got this. And the brand is Ulanzi, which is the same. I get a lot of their stuff. Like my white little tripod is that brand as well. Not I cut into whatever this is. Girl, I just cut into it a little bit. I ordered it. It's not going to stay this white. The first time we use it, it's going to get dirty. They are washable and reusable, but I just wanted a new replacement for the old cedar mop. So I got one. <coughs> I got one of these as well. I haven't vlogged and chewed gum in a long time. Oh, these are the, somebody peeped it. I was, we were out to eat somewhere and somebody noticed my facial expression in the comments <laughs> for what I didn't like about the way my silverware looked. This was in my car for a little minute. I just hadn't checked out and I go back and forth between saying I'm going to get it. First of all, you can already see how small the packaging is for this to fit inside of a purse. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this actually so I can put them in the dishwasher cause I'm getting ready to run it. This is my to-go silverware now. So every time I come home from using it, I'll just wash it again and put it right back in my purse. Look. So now when I go to the restaurant, I got my own silverware on me. The quality is nice. They're kind of heavy too. Bag. I actually got two. Whenever I go out to eat with my daddy, he always either get like plastic silverware or a lot of y'all, well I saw a few people come in and say that I could do like the, where you ask for a cup of hot water and let it sit and that. So yeah, I got a second one for my dad because he's like not into public silverware either. But I wish I would have opened this. I was just over it today. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got this genius idea for this meal that I'm in the mood for. And I think it's going to be, I don't even think I know it's going to be fat. So I figured I would document it. This is one of Ratchet Destiny's meals, obviously. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's giving cuisine. It's giving upscale vibes. It depends on how I'm going to plate it, maybe. Anyway, this one I'm gonna fix. I was gonna stop and get myself some seafood. I ain't end up doing it like I was telling y'all earlier. I was gonna have plans. This is that and the third. But I don't like the way, the route in which things was going. Like if you wanna so-called have plans, I need times, I need locations, I need, I need what I need, how I need it. It's not giving put me on standby. So, Ugh. I might edit all of that out. <laughs> Cause I don't like y'all in my business. Y'all be in my business, I don't like this. Ramen noodles, I got out the chicken and the beef cause I don't know which one I want yet. Shrimp, uh, I didn't go to the store to buy this. It's just kinda giving like, 
this one I'm in the mood for. You know how you randomly in the mood for a little meal? And this just popped in my head. I do like the ramen noodles with two boiled eggs in it sometimes. If I feel like waiting on the eggs to boil. Two boiled eggs. Serving size is about salmon shrimp. But first I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggs on. Since that's what's gonna take the longest. Boom, timer is set. Take out the amount that we want. Put these into cold water so they'll be ready for later. Um, and the kind that I have, if y'all want the same one, this is the peel divine the tail on extra large. Literally get distracted every time. Cause why I pause to post this to my Instagram to let y'all know I just posted a new TikTok. Share. Boom. I listen to all the girlies new um not rate them, but I put them in order when I text to the group and I was like I listen to the all the new music videos. This is the order I put them in. One was Cardi and Megan. Second place for me was not saying that we're putting them in a place or anything because I hate pinning women against each other and all of that. I'm just saying for the sake of conversation while I prep my food. What they gonna say? No disclaimers. Blah, blah, blah. But somebody was typed in. Why we always gotta pin black women against each other? Shut up! <laughs> the order in which I liked the videos. Not the context of the... I think the context of the music had a little bit to do with how I chose what I chose. I picked... Cardi B and Megan for first. Second, I did Glow, K-Carbon, Gloss, their new song. And then third for me was, what was the third one? Lotto and Sexy Red. But I watched all of them. I think I gotta go comment too, but I did watch all of them uh, yesterday. Last night when I was laying in bed. Okay, so we got the shrimp. I'm gonna just put some cold water on it and let these sit while the eggs do their thing. As far as the ramen noodles, I can't decide when I get to the ramen noodle step if it's giving chicken or beef. So I'm gonna put it on Instagram and just let y'all vote. Which way? Ratchet Destiny said, hey. Poe. Which one? Question mark. I can't decide. <laughs> shrimp in half that way once I mix this it won't be given like once I eat my five little shrimp that's it I don't know if I muted or if I did like a voiceover or whatnot um I chose my shrimp count based on the serving size I kind of do that a lot lately I've been reading like when I do my sweet potato fries in the air fryer I think the serving size is only 11 and I literally stand there and count out like 11 french fries <laughs> oh my goodness that's hilarious Okay, that bite had the shrimp and the egg. That's it. You gotta try this. I know you got food at home. I'm just saying try this though. Try this. Yeah. Whoa, let's drop it. Why everything low? We on the vlog camera now, same day. I ran out of space a little. My little cousin is here now. And we're looking at her math homework, so I figured I would vlog this. I'm 
trying to think of that site I used to use in college. You feel nothing else? I want to know if the one I did right here. Y'all right with Negative one. Look, y'all, this this one of the problems I did. Excuse me, look how you it out. This her work. Let's try another one. What they got the end is negative. All right, negative P minus four P is greater that than how you do negative it. 10. That's kind of similar to the one we had, but not really. Let me look at this. Girl. I don't remember that. I guess you used to Google answers. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, that's going to turn into plus six. They combine in that side, and then they brought down that negative four. And then you draw the arrow. You know, you put the arrows in the outside of the parentheses. So, they're two open x minus 10 is 2x minus 20 you multiplied it that's how they got that that plus 6x came from moving the plus 6x to this side because you combining the stuff that look alike now you simplify that to negative 4 is less than or equal to 8x minus 20 they moved the 20s to put this with that divided by 8x divided by 8x and they got two. Okay, let me see if I can do one. Good. Test on this next week. Y'all got to test on this next yeah, week. He said I got to do it too. Okay, we're going to get you right. Let me, let me warm up a little bit. Negative P minus 4P is negative 5P. I'm going to call y'all back. Uh, negative P minus 4 is greater than negative 10. The P, that's basically a 1 in front of this. Negative P minus 4P greater than negative 10. Y'all answer is what? Negative 2. Wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not. It ain't no negative two. A negative P minus a four P. All them negatives. So it's a plus four P. Y'all answer is what? Negative two. Y'all answer is what? Negative two. Negative two. Y'all answer is what? 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 Negative two. The whole else. You just need to know how to work it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what we gonna do, we're gonna work on them, then we're gonna look over your answer key. How about this? Okay. Retro Disney say hey. Screenshot How they get that? Oh, what I'm trying to remember is when the number shaded in. Oh, you and shade it, it when it's equal to. Mm-hmm. Or equal if to. If it's a uh, dot so and, it's and, and when no it's solution. open. Yeah. yeah. Like when that. it's open. No, we haven't got to the no solution yet. It's just greater or less than. So y'all ain't on that part yet. No, we ain't on that. All right, come on. Let's work on it. Let me screenshot the answer. <laughs> yeah, screenshot the answer key. You got to know how to find the answer key. Girl, what if your teacher, your teacher don't watch me do it? <laughs> my business. I gotta figure out how they change that sign though to that greater than like the math was mm. oh. math getting harder. Yeah, this the same stuff. This the same yeah. stuff. Middle school was very easy. Let's try this one. 18 <laughs> is greater than or equal to 5k plus 4k. That went easy. You're just really looking at the numbers because these variables are the same. So the 5 and the 4 makes 9. Bring the k down with it. Now you're going to divide the 9k by the 9 and then by the 9. So then the only difference is number number. That's why we didn't bring the letter down. So now that gets crossed out and then the 18 divided by 9 you're going to have 2 is greater than or equal to Okay. Check that one. Tell me oh, if the answer okay, is too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> to learn more about it. I'm going to call y'all back I so I can actually help my little cousin and not vlog me helping my little cousin. To those of you who are subscribed to me who may be students, y'all should subscribe to May. What's her name? May Map. M-A-E. M-A-P. -E 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 her YouTube. Her video is really good. That's probably a good little while later. I had three y'all on the charger. She it's did like, the whole worksheet. Y'all yeah, teacher probably don't even want me telling y'all that, but I think she would rather y'all to know this stuff than tonight. <laughs> Hello, hi, good morning. Today is Sunday. I'm taking a quick little editing break because my sister just cooked breakfast. So let's go eat. Yeah. Food always good when you don't cook it. Why y'all gotta glare so much when I'm trying to film? Is that what that pocket for? Cause that's what I use it for. 
Cheers. So now he locked up licking the door in 10 years and they gonna take his time away if the rock can get them the biggest room in the quartet. So he used to be in the street. The rock on a construction company. He gonna use him who already be in the streets to get close to them. Malik, the dark skin dude. Yeah. So that's what the rock trying to figure out. So all uh, boy being suspicious of him, he is right. Who? Him that's suspicious of him right now. Uh -huh. Now I see the rock and the light skin dude work together. The rock are the construction company. But his company is for like fellas to get close to him. So he can oh. use him to get close to, to them. Use what you got to get what you want. That's how he get his son out of shit. Oh, we need that swivel tea. The washer, washer complete. Tell son, washer complete. This is the power bank that we use to charge the couch so that we don't have the cords everywhere. But it's dead, so I'm gonna charge it up. This is the cord that it comes with. I'm really not gonna sit here and watch this movie because I gotta get back to my editing, honestly. Then you just plug it up. Move that to the top plug. Now it's charging. And then once it get back to 100 again, you can let your feet and head up on the couch. I want to stay downstairs and finish watching that movie, but I ain't do what I needed to do Monday through Friday as far as having Sunday's video ready. So I'm about to get this finished so that I can go ahead and get it out for y'all today. I'm debating if I want to stop it where I'm at for 34 minutes or if I want to keep going. And then I cleaned my desk off the other day. I need to show y'all the products that are empty. It's given. Let me show these before I throw them out. I hate that side of me, but it's all good. I be having a set time to where it's like, make sure each individual day don't go over this many minutes. If you're going to squeeze it all into one. I feel like I should put one more concept into this one because it's really only a fair day and a wedding day. But like this is finished. I just need to preview it. Previewing it for me basically like us watching that movie downstairs I would sit here and watch my video full screen on the computer instead And then I try to decide and gauge when I'm bored take that out Is the music too loud different things like that and I just watch the whole video If I'm not in the mood to do it I get somebody else to watch it and I tell them to be brutally honest when you get bored Let me know watching it and you've gotten bored. I need to fix that so I do that when I can. If not, my judgment is good enough. And like last time, I think in one of the videos, I have my end screen to play. And y'all was like, uh-uh, you ain't cue the intro song. Um, How I'm Living by Lil Greg. If y'all want to download that, I'll link it down below. Because a lot of y'all always ask, like, what's your intro and outro song? So, yeah, my intro and outro song is by my brother. And sometimes people be like, change this, change that. They want different YouTubers to change their songs. But when we grew up watching Spongebob, that theme song ain't never changed. Pretty women coming through, yeah. Number pretty women in my money to the sun. Done like Rick Flair in his prime, Miss Ridiculous. And you know that I'm in good. Her heart go down her back, and that's a fact. But you are Okay, so I was sitting here and I just got a notification. The gazebo just got delivered. This was saying like different things at first. It was saying like the 9th. Some of these are saying the 12th. Because it's three different packages. Oh my god, it's here. Oh my god, wait, the gazebo is here. I caught this gazebo on sale. And it's here. Let me close final cut out. Because I don't want it to crash or anything. Because we almost done. I gotta hurry up. It's 12 20. I'm trying to drop between one and three. <laughs> Grady's box is huge. It's here. I'm gonna put that together. Some people say it takes two days. Depending on what time you start, you have to like start it and then finish it the next day. Ooh, a bug went in my ear. Ooh, this is that's the heavy one. Heavy. Leave it here for now. Ain't nobody gonna get to it. Oh god. Real heavy. It's so heavy. It's heavy. All of this together weighs 90 something pounds, you know that? I've been on my drive for years. Hey y'all, this is Dominique Lachey. Y'all might not know me, but you gon' get to know me. Subscribe to my channel, Dominique Lachey. They gon' put, we're going DOs and we out. Hey y'all, so Destiny today, Sunday. Y'all gon' kill me. I left the light at home. So hopefully they have good lighting in here. This is a great night. We're going to DOs. I go put in. DOs. 
I did something to it. I ate all my seafood though. Y'all know we ain't got no to go seafood. which it ain't gonna look like it because y'all know how that go. I was supposed to go work out real quick and then me and my cousin were gonna go to get breakfast. She texted me like, what you doing? You busy? Da, da, da. You wanna get breakfast? I'm like, yeah. But the consistent side of me that's like, let me not skip my gym day. I was like, let me finish this real quick first then we're gonna head out because I'm the type of person, you know, gyms be open a long time, but me being me, I like to start my day. Um at the gym versus pausing the day to go do the workout. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just when I know what makes me be consistent, if I start my day with the gym, I notice that I tend to get more gym days in versus trying to do it later in the day. So then, so the gazebo is here, me and Dominique finally pushed it into the garage from where they left it outside. Well, we gotta try this. Like I wanted to drive, I was like ready to open this in the car. But I was like, nah, I gotta try it on camera with y'all. So this is the Fanta Zero Sugar, but it's a mystery flavor. So I don't know which flavor I got. And I was waiting. I'ma predict, I'ma predict that it's orange. But part of me wanna say pineapple, but I'ma say orange. Grape? I think that's grape. I think that's grape. So if y'all see these, I got it in Walmart, right at the checkout. So yeah, he was like, let me go ahead and get started on it. Because I had taken told him, I said I finally went ahead and ordered it. And I sent him some of the videos that I was watching on how people put it together. So they could kind of know what to expect. Um, and he was going to start on it while he's off today. But 
his friend that he's gonna bring with him to work on it has somewhere to be at four o'clock because it's his friend's dad's birthday. So I was like, by the time y'all get here and barely get it open, it'll be time to leave again. So they just decided that they're gonna do it tomorrow. I had already texted my cousin. I'm like, pull up. Can we can we move breakfast around and we just do something at the house? But now since my brother counseled me and my cousin are gonna go ahead and go out still. I'm um, gonna get some food and we're gonna try a new spot too. So I gotta get all of this put away real quick because this is one of those spots that I don't know how breakfast and brunch spots they close and then they reopen. I just need to put it all away and show y'all the fridge later. What I got time for? No, that'll be inconsiderate of me. And we was probably gonna throw something on the grill. More like grill stuff, some little snack type stuff to offer. Got some chips ahoy. It's the fact that I could have grabbed all of these groceries tomorrow instead. But I didn't want to be that person to not have things to offer. Like, look at that. What was I going to offer them? <laughs> I basically put them in here. Digestion, immunity. Digestion, immunity. I don't got time to be turning the labels around the right way. Not today. People don't like Sprite Zeros, but these are the ones I drink, so. This is what my guests got to get. I'm kidding. Sometimes I'm considerate of my guests, but. Sprite Zero me, please. No sugar me, please. A smoothie, please. I can't wait to try this. This is like a pulled pork rotisserie chicken from the deli. I'm going to put it in the meat drawer. And it's fall season. You know it's fall season when they get these in the grocery store. I love the caramel apples. And then I got these little deli sandwiches too. I got two of them. Where the other one at? No talking. Hyperlapse the rest of these. What are you calling about? I'm calling you from Direct TV, ma'am. You already say it, babe. Yes, I got that, but what is the call okay. about? What is this call about? Uh, this is in regards to a matter about Direct TV. I'll give you the complete information, ma'am. Security purpose, could you please confirm if that's the right address for you? No, sir. Have a good day. If you can't tell me what you want, I'm not confirming nothing. How you gonna call me and tell me to confirm stuff? And why this phone don't do a good job of knowing when something is spam or not? Clearly, I don't even answer calls when they say that. God. <sighs> Hello, hi. I'm laying down watching uh, McKenna Walker. I've been trying to finish this one for three days now, but life. <laughs> I'm supposed to be editing a video myself right now, actually, but... I crashed. Oh, the last I talked to me and my cousin were supposed to be going out. We changed like times and all of that for other reasons. Um, I gotta stop oversharing. So if I didn't chop around everything, then yeah. I hate when my shirt like hide my neck. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I never concluded when I got home and everything. I just basically like got settled and situated. But my food was like really good. The seafood that I ate was really good last night. The place we went to, I think I showed you I was called Dio's. Uh, that was only my second time there. I went there, where was that? That was a good few years back when I went for a date once. That was the only other time I remember going. Um, that's a long time in between. Wow. But it was good. The food was really good. I chose lemon pepper and it's crazy because I was going, I normally get garlic butter mild. Slow down Disney. Stop talking over yourself. <laughs> I normally get garlic butter mild, but I ended up going with the uh, lemon pepper because she was saying that it say, you know how it'll say mild Cajun. It's like, how is it mild and Cajun? Like pick one, like pick a side and stick to it. So I wasn't in the mood to risk getting it and then people who eat spicy food always have this way of justifying something that's not being spicy i wasn't trying to hear that so i was like let me just get lemon pepper 
leave it at that because <laughs> i don't like a like the smallest bit of spice in my food like well let me not be that dramatic i don't eat spicy food so when you don't eat it just a little bit of it is too much and you're like you know i want to enjoy my food i don't want my nose running and all of that that's for the people that like that it's not my preference but the fact that i always squeeze a lemon on my seafood like especially my crab legs and my lobster tail i'm thinking to myself like how were you not choosing lemon pepper anyway like every time i go to either juicy crab or red hook i'm always like garlic butter mouth when i say that lemon pepper was so good this is not sponsored i pay for my own food it was so good like so good I didn't really feel like working out this morning and I was just like oh and I'm like five weeks in right now it's not something that I've been sharing with you all because I don't like to always update y'all on things that I'm doing just for the sake of I actually just deleted and blocked a few people for saying stupid things just for the sake of kind of like enjoying my own journey enjoying my own process and not really putting out into the air things that I'm doing because everybody don't really like cheer you on and things in the all the talk and the chatter for me, it just kind of be like, blah. Like, I know that you all always suggest ignoring things. My way of ignoring things is blocking things <laughs> when I see it. Hello. I crashed. I took my contacts out so that I could probably lay here and fall asleep. But I'm not a napper. Like, I hear people say that they're taking, like, day naps. I have to be really tired to end up falling asleep. Like, I just kind of coast through my day. Even if I choose to lay down, I don't fall asleep. Like, laying here relaxing like this for me is as close to sleep <laughs> as it gets in the middle of the day. Like, I just don't know how to fall asleep in the daytime. I just thug it out and then crash at night. But, ooh, I was going to start a new subject, but I ain't going to get into it right now. Cause it's deep and I don't feel like it, so never mind. But I'll talk to y'all later. It is about 4:27. I'm about to edit for about two hours, um, cause tomorrow is gonna be a busy day with getting my gazebo worked on. That I won't be able to just sit here and edit, so I need to start on it now to post it tomorrow. I like editing videos where I'm only editing visually, so when I don't gotta like hear myself talk. Or then I don't really get to listen to nothing but like jazz in the background. But this video doesn't call for that. So I get to listen to whatever I want while I chop it up. Because I'm just washing my hair, doing my nails. Foul, new project, maintenance, I don't know. Doing my own nails. Cherry apple, probiotic, the simple truth one. I forgot to grab one of my editing snacks. Yep, that's empty. That one too. Alright, let's zone out and edit. Starting time. What thirty? Laying down and then my hair be like <laughs> so flat. I'm ten minutes in with editing so far. So sometimes I edit clip by clip, but I chose to drag and drop all of the uh, files for what I'm using right now. I keep forgetting I said I was gonna stop using my vlog camera until I actually go outside. I'm supposed to be using my large camera for amazing quality. This is good. DSLR is amazing. Drag and dropped all of the nail files and I kind of at the same time film vertical content to turn that into an Instagram reel. So when I get to those clips, I'm just taking those out of the YouTube video. So we're currently at 41 minutes. I would not give y'all a 40 minute nail tutorial. I've watched 40 minute nail tutorials before, but for retention time, attention time, um, I like to edit my videos in a watchable type of way. Like if you've heard me say, say this video is nicely edited for your viewing pleasure. Cause nobody would really, like if I was to upload it, you don't really want to see me do my nails in real time. Trust me, you don't. I don't want to see me do my nails in real time. It's so tedious. <laughs> So just pulling out the best parts. Not only that, some people would. Some people like who are really trying to learn, but I'm not licensed anyway. So you would be learning from just my point of view. My hands-on experience is really what taught me to do my own nails. Like you just gotta get in the field and do it. Like anything you want to learn to do, get in the field. If you wanna know how to edit, like a lot of y'all ask me about my editing style, film myself editing so that you all can do the same thing. That just comes from over time, like different things that I do now even with my editing. This is too much fouling. Why am I showing y'all me foul my nails for so long? Who want to watch me drill my nails that long? 
you just have to do it like you just have to practice the more you do it the better you get with your editing like whenever i watch a video from 2016 it's not the same as my editing from 2023 that's because you've been doing it longer like if years pass and your concept is still the same if years pass and nothing about what you do has elevated like think about whatever your career is or something that you love to do even just a hobby you should be better with it <laughs> and that just comes over time so if you're just now starting give yourself that grace too to know like the more i do this and i don't mute my phone when i edit either i know a lot of times y'all be wanting me to turn it off but vlogging is an on and off thing all day like my phone would just be off all of my life because i i cut the camera on and document randomly here and there and I think that's one of the things about kind of just doing it for yourself. Um, it's a part of your life and you fit into that. So this is one of the clips where it's sideways like that because I drag and drop everything. Sometimes I'll dig through and pull them out manually. But I just like to select them all and just drop them down here when it's a video without audio. There's I didn't even cut my mic on because I knew I was only doing my nails. So I would just select this delete it out and it doesn't disappear when i finish this video i will basically come over here and grab all of the vertical clips to do that same thing with editing and instead i would make this vertical in the settings over there to create the tiktok version so that also prolongs the process because in between doing the nails you have to adjust the camera like this is another vertical clip that's going to be for tiktok instead of youtube you adjust your camera to turn it basically this way you have to pause to do your nails at the same time for nails it's a little bit easy because i say okay i'm going to do the left hand for youtube right hand for tiktok or something like that that way i won't have to like keep faking and redoing steps just to multi-purpose my content quick little voiceover to help those of you who ask about editing tips and how to edit like destiny in the dms and in the comments um so this is final cut pro that i'm using I don't recommend Final Cut Pro for beginners. For one, it's $300. For two, it's too complex for a beginner. It'll overwhelm you and you'll just not want to do it. I trim around what I consider empty space. So me positioning the nail file and trying to put it under the nail, but it's not under there yet. I just want to show you me clipping it. So I would split and delete the portion that where anything is like basically not happening um i also like to add sharpness to the videos if something is taking too long i go ahead and i speed that up so you see me kind of positioning the nail form applying a nail form takes a while so i added a speed ramp to that which basically splits the clip up for me and then it makes it go a little faster because you don't really want to bore the people like some people love long videos but let's be honest attention spans you want everything kind of fast so I basically sit here and I do this to the entire video, deleting what I don't need, deleting if something is out of focus. And I also like to just kind of listen to a podcast while I work. Videos where I don't have any actual audio, like I know I'm going to do a voiceover on it later, enables me to listen to whatever I would like in the background. And that also helps to kind of, you know, let me enjoy the editing process. I just chopped the video down from that 40 minutes that we had down to nine minutes and 32 seconds. Also keeping in mind that as I got to those vertical TikTok clips, those came completely out of the video. And then not all footage gets used, like this entire clip right here. When it's orange like that, it lets you know that you're using it. This entire clip, I just chose not to use. And then you can see the vertical clips like that. And in order to use those, basically you would go to file, project, and then right here where I would title it, they have the vertical option right here in Final Cut Pro. Canon doesn't rotate them like this. I think it's a setting I could probably change in my camera for it to do it for me, for my vertical ones. But whenever I do it on this, the vlog camera, this one, uh, it rotates it for me automatically when I import it. So yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we got that down to nine minutes. So now we're gonna keep going to this day right here because I still got an hour left. We can't stop until 6.30. We got to keep going. And my food here. My, my sister stopped by our parents' house after work. Because my dad, he grills. My daddy just grills sometimes randomly just because. I'm going to keep going until 6.30. I'm proud of myself because I was sluggish today. Like, just randomly out of nowhere. Like, I can't even explain it. But the next one is the wash day. I'm going to drag and drop all of those in and keep going. Oh, I just added a lot on. But I know me. I can do it. I'm going to chop it down. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better.
Good morning, you all. So today is Tuesday, September the 12th. I was getting ready to sit here and edit. Completely forgot to charge the mouse yesterday. It was low while editing. But it just told me that the mouse battery is empty. So I was going to go ahead and work on today's video that I want to get out today, which is the nail tutorial and then my wash day. I was going to put some more footage in it. But as I drag and dropped this additional footage, it's putting me all the way up to like 37 minutes. I don't want it to be that long. I just want it to be hair and nails so i'm actually going to just leave it as that i'll squeeze the rest of that into the weekly vlog the different days of how you move your content based on subjects uh, what else can i do then since the mouse is dead like i have to have this you can't do nothing without this normally if the keyboard is low you can plug this up and still work but the way this sits to the side like this while it charges it's nothing i can do hey my brother is coming this way after he finishes up his workout at the gym i guess i'm gonna go downstairs and use my laptop instead which i could move my hard drive and edit from my laptop but some of the new effects that i've added to my computer are not on my laptop so when you move this drive like that it's not good to move in between computers when you're working on a project let me just say that <laughs> um but i'll check in with you all later and we're gonna start the gazebo installation i'm excited like really excited and i got like a really good price on it too i don't know if i'm gonna do most likely the backyard transformation will be its own video all together with all of the details i'm gonna start back being that youtuber who in the direction of not really going towards like oversharing as much but when i feel that it's necessary like prices and telling you all like oh i purchased my gazebo at the end of summer so i got a good deal on it blah 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 things like that that are beneficial and helpful like me just sitting here just telling my business is not my definition for oversharing but if it's if it's helpful to someone else then i'll share details but i'm also getting back into the mindset of re programming my own mind to know that this is my channel this is me cutting my camera on to share whatever i deem important so i'm just trying to erase all of the thoughts of do this because these people said this maybe do this because somebody said that they didn't like it and for me lately my mindset has just been it's okay to outgrow people it's okay to outgrow my channel it's okay to outgrow I used to like Destiny when she was in this space of her life and now I don't like her in this space of her life. So I can't watch her anymore, if that makes sense. Versus me trying to adjust to help other people feel comfortable to continue to watch me. Growth makes some people uncomfortable and that's the reality of it. But I can't juggle letting that be something that I keep on my mind all the time. Because then you drift back into people pleasing and I'm not in a people pleasing space in my life. So that's not for me. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be got if a nigga don't be trying to so tell me mama. Perfect. Jeffrey finished just in time for me to do my little haul because he be loud in the background. Bath and Body Works had a sale, so I ordered some candles. Um, and it's crazy. One of y'all DM me a day or two after I had already placed this order because um, I got mine for $14.95. And the day when y'all messaged me, uh, like two people DM me on Instagram and was like, Bath and Body Works got a sale. And that day when y'all DM me was the day that they were actually 12, I think 12.99 or 12 something. I was like, oh, I could have saved two more dollars, but it's okay. So I got three. I don't have my contacts or my glasses on, so I hope the camera is focusing on my face well enough. Yep, put on the charger. Let's pop them open. Okay, it's always that one. I was debating if I wanted to hold everything and like collect it all to do the fall video, like cleaning and decorating the house for fall. As everything has been arriving, I'm just like, you're putting it out immediately. I have sweater weather, cranberry woods, and flannel. I've had 
I think Cranberry Woods is the only one I haven't had before. One of these was a new scent. But I know flannel already existed, so it's not that one. Okay, I like Cranberry Woods. So this one is Tart Cranberry Cinnamon Bark Forest Cedar Gold Amber. Well, it is giving fall for sure. And I like the cinnamon in this. It's not overpowering um, at all. Y'all know when I smell my candles, the scent of them helps me to determine what room they should go in. So far, this is giving bedroom, bathroom, or the beauty room, basically. This could go anywhere. Sweater weather. Mmm. Mm. Okay, let me try to guess what I'm smelling. Is it eucalyptus? Cedarwood? Peppermint. I smell something minty in this one. This I will put in the bathroom. I don't know if that's peppermint or eucalyptus. Spearmint. Spearmint. Not them all the way off. Fresh sage. I don't smell the sage. Juniper berries. Aromatic eucalyptus. Okay, fresh woods. I said cedarwood. This is giving spa-like vibes to me, so bathroom for sure. No, this is the bathroom. Flannel. Mmm. Which one is going in the living room? Wait, 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 wait. If the lit version of these, <laughs> lit version, no point in saying it. Once you light them compared to smelling them straight out of the jar, I don't mind moving them around afterwards. I got two candles in the living room right now, so I'm not going to see one in there. I'm going to probably put these in the closet because all of the rooms currently have candles. I don't want to just put these out for no reason. So yeah, let me not do this. It's from Clarence. So we are a part of Clarence PR team. So they send us packages every now and again. This is how it comes. They're really consistent with sending their packages though. Like it's not super random four or five months out. It's like they send it right around the time when it's about to run out. It's like, how hey, y'all know I need another one. This serum right here, I absolutely love. This is the double serum. The hydric and the lipid uh, system. A little bit of water, a little bit of oil. Oh, this is the light texture. I haven't had the light texture yet. So the regular, I guess it's the normal one that I currently have in my bathroom. I've used this a few times in videos, if you all have seen. It's not sponsored. I don't have to show you all the PR. I'm not paid to like push these products. It's like a gift, basically. If you want to talk about it, you can. If you don't, it's, you don't have to. If you don't like the product, you ain't got to show it. Yeah, I like this though. I've been using it. For a good couple of months now and I like it. Can't wait to try the light texture. And then they also sent the total eye lift. I got like three of these. I don't really use eye creams as much. Sometimes when I make little gift bags for other people, I might throw these in. Not the ones that I use, obviously. Um, but if I like gift it to like a sister or a friend or something like that, I actually gave my aunt one of these on um, one time. So, I, but since my other one is running out, glad to have these. Ooh, Nature's Power Couple. So I need to use both of these together. I think I'm gonna consistently use the eye cream the same way I literally apply their serum morning and night in my routine. Like it's my first step after toner. Okay, I'm gonna just snap a picture. I like to take my time and post those. So sometimes I just hold my pictures in my phone until I have downtime to really sit still and put it out. Let's do a little flash because it's cloudy today, y'all. Um, I'm not that person that likes to use lights in the house in the daytime for no reason. So yeah, it's like cloudy out. I kind of like it. I might go and sit out for a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and put everything back now y'all i have the most large this counts i'm scared to pull it down i'm not on a tall enough stool it's like a really 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 big one and I have one more of Jackie's candles left right here and old money. Self-care is not selfish. Definitely is not. Some of these I need to light. I've had so long. That smells so rich. This was a birthday candle. I remember my mama got me this one. I used the, some of the wax melts already. But I haven't used this candle yet. Um, since it doesn't come with the lid, I like to keep it in the box. So that the scent doesn't die down until I'm ready to burn it. The smell of spring. So I might not get it out until springtime. This is another birthday candle right here that I had got. This one I put away. I was in the process of lighting this. Like I said, if I think I like one that I've lit and then I don't like it in that specific room. I swapped this one out and I put a different candle in my bedroom. White chocolate truffle. I don't like this. I think I should put this near the kitchen maybe. I think it'll be better for fall. Oh, you know what? It will. Near the kitchen. Time. I wish I could put y'all closer somehow. But I'm going to be in the way. I keep the dryer sheets here. The dryer booklet is on the side where the dryer is. The washer booklet is over on the 
other side. I actually like to read this every now and again because it gives you different tips and things like that. Like even when you fold your blanket, it's a certain way you're supposed to fold your blanket to wash it. Would not have known that if I wouldn't have glanced in that book when I first got it. Just these bulbs at the top, excess little bulbs. I love the daylight bulb where it's not super warm all the time. Or if you have warm lighting in your house and you don't like it, I would suggest the daylight bulbs. They're a bit more white, which also comes in handy for vlogging as well to remove that yellow out of the videos. Oops, that's fine. And then the overflow of the ones that have already been lit will go in the front. Oh, we gotta get this out for fall. I forgot I have this style right here, if y'all can see it, with the acorns in it. Super cute, it's from Ross. Not this season though, so it may not be there. But I'm pretty sure they have new styles for this season. Sometimes I use my Wex candle warmer, so you end up losing the wick on the inside as you melt it, like when it warms it from the bottom versus actually lighting it. So that's what that is. And this is empty because we didn't have any candles of this size so we'll be able to i don't have a fall style so i need to get a fall style for this but i know i'll be able to get this one out towards november really october so i can get a lot of use out of it behind the dryer sheets i got a few that are plugged in right now i think i need to rotate them because after a while i feel like they don't smell the strongest when they're old this is just the battery pack charger for the vacuum. For what's money without happiness? A hard times without the people you love. Though I'm not sure what's about to happen next. I ask for strength from the Lord above. Cause I've been strong so far. But I can feel my grip loosening. Quick, do something before you lose it for good. Get it back and use it for good. And touch the people how you did like before. I'm tired of living with demons cause they always inviting more. Think being broke was better. I don't mean that phrase with no disrespect To all my niggas out there living in debt Cash and minimal checks Turn on the TV, see a nigga Rolex And fantasize about a life with no stress I mean it's just sincerely And as a nigga who was once in your shoes Living with nothing to lose I hope one day you hear me Always gonna be a bigger house somewhere but on my phone because I didn't know I could cast it to the TV I like drag this down at the top right here and then it showed me that I could do it girl I've been laying here oh my god that's ghetto on me let me tell my sister I just figured it out she texted me that oh my god I thought I was smart that's just how I'm living that's how I'm living That's just how I'm living.